So guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to get a test ride on this 07 Harley Davidson Night Rod. This particular bike has been well customized. It's got a different body kit. As you can see, the gauges have been moved. They're different handlebars, nice flat wide ones for real good comfortable ride. Gauges have been moved to the, well, it looks like the tank in this particular model is the housing for the airbox. The tank is now underneath the seat. The seat just lifts up like so. And the difference in this one compared to most Harley Davidsons you'll think about getting one, this one is liquid cooled. This particular engine is called the Revolution engine and it was designed between Harley Davidson and Porsche along with this frame, real nice frame, it's a very comfortable bike. It also has air suspension, it really makes it comfortable. Now this particular model being 07 doesn't have ABS but something that's not really necessary unless you're in really bad conditions. This is the switch to adjust the air suspension. You hear a little pump there. Just it up and down to whatever height you want. It makes it really comfortable. Um, this is my first time on Harley Davidson. I'm used to the GSXF and the little pit bike. It is just the pit bike's not too bad in the bumps, but the GSXF is a little bit solid now. Uh, this bike has the Brembo brakes front and rear. Front brakes, very good. Very, very good one finger brakes. It is absolutely brilliant. The rear brakes, they're okay, but I suppose you don't want nothing too mad. You can lock up the tire. This particular one has got the 240 tire. Uh, a couple of things modified apart from the body kit. The foot pegs have been moved. See the little reservoir there is now moved. And it has got a toxic exhaust on it. This is very loud. Very, very loud now. You don't want to be, this wasn't a Harley Davidson, you don't want to be heard as well as seen. So that's it folks, that's a good, a good nice wee walk around there. So let's get on and let's give it a go and see what we think of the driving. And just stir it up for you, it is really loud. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You give it a better You'll get a better listen to it on the road now. We'll get it through up the dual carriageway, see the acceleration, which is pretty awesome. And then we'll get it through some twisty stuff as well. It's got a lot of power for Harley Davidson. Of course, Harley's used to be mainly just cruiser bikes. This particular muscle bike has great power, be great for long distance drives, just effortless acceleration. Like the older cruiser engines got a lot of torque down low. This bike has a lot of torque having such a big engine of course but it really opens up more like a sports bike just need to ride it sort of like a sports bike pretty good handling too you can lean it right over Thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> brakes and a bike with no ABS anyway. This bike leans really well. Very impressed with it. We got through this little village up here and we were in a nice little twisty section just to get a feel for it on the twisties. Which I'm sure I'll have no problem with. Gazing by those roundabouts. Very smooth gearbox, chains are really nice. In another review of one of these bikes and uh, the guy says it is the nicest shifting Harley he's ever driven. Ridden, sir. spin much? He says no, no, unless you were really rash with it, it'll not spin in the dry. This may be in first gear obviously, but you've got to watch that bike with this torque and this power just, especially if you're a lesser experienced rider. It's really, it was like anything, just take your time, get to know the bike. But I can assure you it'll have enough power for you, you'll no want of any more power. Unless you're a very experienced rider. Plenty for, plenty for me and every other average rider. Take it up now through some faster twisty bits.
not many good passing spots on this route. Just pull in a moment and get this car out of the way. So guys, just as we're waiting here, just a really impressive bike so far. I have no problem recommending getting one of these. Just can't see any faults with the bike whatsoever. Uh, some some riders may want ABS, but it's just a matter of going for a newer model. I think it's after 2011. I think ABS was standard, but uh, absolutely, has absolutely no complaints. Play, bags of power, great handling, can lean really well. Really comfortable riding position. Couldn't fault it. To say these standard bars wouldn't be just as wide, and the clocks are a little bit more up on the bars, just maybe slightly more comfortable for looking down at them if you're if you don't really want anything to be modified. But this is a customized version. So. Uh, yeah, let's get it back out in the road, get some twisty stuff done, and have a bit of fun. Please remember guys, if you like what you see in this video and you find it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. It means a lot to me. So, yeah, let's get back out on the road.